is nasma, the aura, the spiritual energy, and kudra, <coughs> and soul, and arrival of Mahdi, salam, are they all interrelated? Oh, you package the whole thing in one package? <laughs> This again, there's too many things that people read and uh, make everything like, the, like a soup, you just put everything together. Let's just stick by slowly, slowly and understanding what's important for right now is this qudra, this nazma to be increased. That for us in the training, when you train with energy, you're making your du'as, you're making your tafakkur, learning the process, I'm nothing, I'm connecting with the shaykh. And then I, I visualize the shaykh and I say, send me energy because I'm weak from what Allah has given to you. Then they begin to train you on how to bring your breath, your energy into yourself and begin to bring that energy and radiate that energy all around you. That energy that you radiate around you is your shield of protection. So what more do we need in this life right now is this nazma and this qudra that your practice is strong, your character correct. Then you understand in the videos that we have on the sunnah. The sunnah is, is what do they call in the wire, electrical wire? Is the, the seal of the wire? The insulation. The sunnah is our insulation. The wire is us, the soul. You're now trying to build this energy. One thing is to build it and waste it all day long, you went through all that effort for why? So then the sunnah, the sharia, the hijab, the hat, the clothes, the beard, the ring was all of the insulation of this magnificent wire. Then when you make wudu you seal this energy so that what? You're very powerful. It's not escaping, you keep it, you keep it, you keep it until when you begin to practice you can feel the energy is coming out. And that energy coming out is then your safety and safeguard. When you practice and you practice and you practice, this energy begin to emanate into your home and then your home has a shield of protection. And that's then the protection for your wife, children and loved ones. So it's not something only personal, it become a protection for everyone. Imagine then awliyaullah and shaykhs when they've been trained their energy is a shield that is everywhere. Because as soon as you make a madad, if you don't have a shield, make a madad to someone who has a shield. As soon as you make a madad and ask for them to come, their shield of energy is all around. Like when you call the police, they have a shield, right? You don't have a shield. So when you're scared and a burglar's coming, you call 911. Madad is your 911. But this madad you can call all the time, not like 911. If you're a very paranoid person, all day long you call 911. They give you a hundred dollar fine <laughs> the police said, we're not coming anymore. And they come with a shield. Why? Because they're sharif. <laughs> Where are they? Where these got these? Because you know it's a program, Allah wrote their program and Allah has the sense of humor. This is for people who have eyes to see. So why call those sharif? Call real sharif. <laughs> right? You do your madad, it's a 911 you, and you, this one you can call all day long, all day long. Madad, madad, why? Tanzil rahmah You're sitting at home, madad. You're sitting somewhere, you're not comfortable, madad. And you bring all their presence always with you until you do it so much they say, this guy is bothering us, why we have to come and go? Just stay with him. He's going to be making madad all day long. So then your awliya are following you everywhere you're going, right? We try to make it light and simple but it stick into your mind. Use the madad, keep them, keep calling upon them, begin to feel that presence. If you don't have the energy, they do call upon them and they come with all the power and all the blessings inshaAllah. Anybody worried about what to eat and, and food? If you have any type of uh, sickness you, 
you consult your doctor but try to have your immune system to be built up. Make sure that you have hydrogen peroxide around the house to disinfect if you can reach Lysol. If you don't have Lysol, detrol mixed with water. Just keep and keep your area pure and purified. Disinfect the shoes, keep the shoes outside of the house. Build your immune system with a good set of vitamins so that you feel healthy with zinc, with vitamin C if you can get a hold of vitamin C anymore. What else are we, we, we're taking? Vitamin D. What, what else did you give us as a contraption? Not only here besides Farsi. Ginger, ginger turmeric, all of those. The ginger was to boost your vitamin C level with a very powerful boost through ginger. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, good for any problems with your lung. And Prophet it's all tip of nubuwa, it's, it's not a dream from somebody. Turmeric, Prophet described, kills everything. Every type of difficulty will be taken away with turmeric. You have arthritis, you take turmeric because it's anti-inflammatory. So imagine then an inflammation within the lungs as an anti-inflammatory. Prophet prescribed black seed. Now they have pressed black seed, cold pressed black seed oil. You take two teaspoons, two tablespoons, two teaspoons daily as an anti-inflammatory. Any problems with the lungs and breathing? Again, black seed. Prophet described black seed is a cure for every illness except death. So, I mean, this is a tip of nubuwa and the, the prophetic medicine is all there for everyone to read. I would Google prophetic medicine versus rumors on the internet, inshaAllah. Zamzam water, recite the du'a upon your water. Every time that you're going to be reciting and doing your awrad, keep your cases of water there. Mm -hmm. So in the room that you are praying in and you're storing water and then storing the foods, make your awrad there, make your du'as there that everything mm -hmm. will catch that du'a. All the ta'am, all the food and the water will be dressed by whatever you're praying. More powerful than your heart if the heart is not open. The water and the angels inside that will say, Ameen, 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 the water becomes blessed. So when you drink it, it becomes shifa inshaAllah, healing for people. <clears throat> Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh, please if you have advice on balancing the deen with the dunya of providing for yourself and family, mashallah I find it very difficult in these earthly affairs. Well it just got a lot simpler because all <laughs> the men you're staying home. That's why we said, Ya Musabib al Asbab, nobody was believing. You know the, the viewership goes up. The belief goes up, the practices all go up because Allah started a marketing campaign. It's very difficult to get people to believe and do their practices when McDonald's is open and the blue beautiful skies. But as soon as azab starts to fly and come down, this one bug from the heavens entered this atmosphere and then what happened? Zahoo kind. Every falsehood now is shaking. From one unseen, from one unseen has begun to collapse every falsehood. The stock markets are collapsing, how, who, who saw what? Businesses are collapsing, every type of industry collapsing. Mighty nations with trillions of dollars of warfare and machinery, it goes down. How, who's, do, who's doing that? The only one who can bring it with not a single drop of warfare. It's just a bug that nobody could see entered into this dunya. So it means everybody is now motivated, sit at home, you have no work to do. Start doing your awrad, start doing your prayers and think that every type of difficulty is coming to you and are you reciting, are you believing, are you good with Allah And try to push away any type of negativity from yourself, from your home and from your family inshaAllah. Do the madad, play inside your home. If you think these viruses are going to be moving into the home and attacking into the home, play within the home the zikr. Watch the teachings, it's all on YouTube. Uh, do the live zikr within the home, make the home a masjid and the masjid to be filled with spiritual beings. This was always the tariqah teaching. If you make your home a masjid, adorn it, make it to be perfected, make it to be beautiful. Only Allah will send other spiritual beings to pray there. Then it become like a maqam because the people whom love that shaykh, 
they're coming by and passing by and praying there. The jinn are praying there, malaika are praying there, Buddha, Nujaba, Nuqab, Awtad wal Akhyar are all praying there when they're passing in that region because you made it to be beautific for them, you made it to be fragrance for them. No doubt, can you imagine if you pass a maqam and something and you don't pray there? No, they rather pray there versus somewhere that doesn't have that belief. So when they make that belief Allah send, that house becomes like a maqam for them and many spiritual beings will be there. Sayyidi, can this event be understood with lataif on the heart whereby the station of sir is opening for the ummah as a whole? It seems the characters of that station are evident. Yeah, the war. That the, the station of the, the knowledge is all, all opening. That the, the knowledge and the sin of mankind, that both are opening. That for the qaab to open was under the authority of Sayyidina Adam salam, that to understand that you've sinned. Ya Hamid wa Bahaqq Muhammad, the, the du'a of Sayyidina Adam salam was not accepted until he praised the praise upon Sayyidina Muhammad At that time Allah gave permission, now make your du'a. Ya Hamid wa Bahaqq Muhammad, Ya Ali wa Bahaqq Ali, Ya Allah wa Ya Khaliq wa Bahaqq Fatima salam. Ya Rahman wa Bahaqq Imam al Hasan. Ya Raheem bi haqq al-Imam al-Husayn and Allah said, where do you learn these? He said, I was taught them in paradises. He said, have you asked anything by these names, I will grant it to you. So means this is the station of the qab to understand that key and that light and that reality of Sayyidina Adam salam that Allah's kingdom, the qalb is the house of Allah is the kingdom of Allah is Nurul Atayyaf. The lataif is just words they're using because Allah is just saying, I'm not in heaven not on earth but I'm on the heart of my believer. So what you're actually opening is the kingdom of Allah The kingdom of Allah is on the heart of the believer and Allah's kingdom is coming down. As it is on earth, as it is in heaven so shall it be on earth. So then that lataif of qalb begins to open. This difficulty and this hardship is now the test of Sayyidina Nuh salam, which is the sir. That we all have to be tested with our faith. Means a difficulty comes and we talked I think Thursday night from that of Sayyidina Nuh salam. And that was the analogy that every test we did and how much shaitan came against us for trying to build our soul. And now Allah make everybody flooded in difficulty. Everybody is in a difficulty and their only salvation is through the realization of Islam. They accept it, they don't accept it. They're learning how to wash, they're learning how to make their wudu, they're learning how to cover, they're learning how to stay home, don't fornicate, don't dance, don't do all of these things that bring about social mixing and bad actions and bad character. So yeah. It is the qalb and the seer opening onto earth. Why? Because the seer seer is going to be dressing. The kingdom of light is coming, right? How can the kingdom of light come if you didn't pass the first two? That the knowledges and the understanding of the Muhammadan reality is the first door into that heart and the kingdom of Allah Then the fight and the struggle against oneself and that everything has to be brought down and now you enter into the Actually the aqfa is before because the, the black is the center where everything is annihilated before the kingdom of light arrives. You good? We're good. Keep in touch everybody inshaAllah if they have questions email the staff smc, s-t-a-f-f, s-m-c at gmail. Attention Yahya, if he doesn't respond ask him, Yahya how come you're not responding? <laughs> and ask Shaykh please the following question and he should give back to you not just copy and paste something standard inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Now they have your name Shaykh, you can't hide. They're gonna follow you all day long, Yahya why are you not doing anything?
So Allah keep you safe, keep your family safe and uh, anything that's needed, requests or du'as, the app has everything, these tools were already given. Anything extra just email and we try to put something together and send it and, and inshaAllah don't panic, don't have fear and that Allah with you, Prophet with you and we keep the way and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah until… And we begin now with intention for Shab al-Bara, that Ya Rabbi keep us alive to at least Shab al-Bara. Then we see Shab al-Bara. Then we talk, Ya Rabbi, after Shab al-Bara then maybe you keep us a little bit longer to Mawlid the Nabi Yeah, we go from one nice event to the next event, give us Tulul Um to see that day and to witness and be dressed by that light and that blessing inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.